Hey all, more outlaw. I am on the road. I got that thing behind me. Weird. On the road, headed south. Going to see a buddy. Right there. Let's go on. Right there. That's big it, it weighs the same as that freaking flood. It's a bigger one than it's in the lucky seven. Woo! You get it? I got you, right? See? Same motor. It's actually bigger. Watch me drop it live. <laughs> it's a 25 horsepower brick and stratton v twin no oppie there you go that's what you need mm -hmm. look at that that that's gonna scream you know none just do it just because hey mike yeah you don't have to drill holes no? No, I had to use different holes than the uh, flat has used, that's all. Cool. I couldn't see them because they're so covered in crap. There it is, it's on. Uh, 25 horse pressure lube, Briggs and Stratton. Obviously it's an OHV V-twin. Um, underneath, with a flathead, the flathead uses this bolt hole and this bolt hole, but a flathead uses that bolt hole Can you guys see that hole. I can't see it. And that one, not this one. I couldn't see those holes because there's so much crap. It's in, it's on, four bolts are in. I guess I don't have to do much with the exhaust. Hey guys, we also gotta give a huge respect out for Kenny Rogers. He passed last yep. night. Yeah. Kenny Rogers. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. When was the last time this ran? Uh, I would say about two weeks ago. No, longer than that. Maybe less than a month. You guys fire! Fire! <laughs> this wire and we just figured out that the cable that I've had anyway will be able to run over and go on the front of the engine and pull on this for now. I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the governor and everything on it for now. Yeah. Yeah. Bottle cable's hooked up with the old cable I had. Put it on here, spring going this way, spring going down to the train. And it works. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cables hooked up, it's bolted into place. Uh, kill wire, kill wires hooked up. Actually, I got that. That works too. Fuel line? Uh, yeah, fuel line's hooked up. I'm gonna sand down the shaft and slide my pulley on. And then you're ready for a test drive. Yeah, pretty much. Type of pulley you got? You got a little bit of pulley or? Yep, yeah, solid. Okay, I'm gonna uh, run uh, two to the one. Running duels in the back or two to one? Currently, there's duels going down. But, yeah. It'll probably go dual out the back. Okay. Pulley's on, the belt is on. Sweet. Alright, let's have it. Yeah, we That's fucking loose. That mic grab. Nah, you're good. Yeah, I'll That's what's the older belt, too. So, you know, once you get that new belt, belt on, you'd be brand fine. new. It's not fucking brand this new. This is brand new? Oh, yeah, huh? on the test drive. Uh, motor's been sitting for like a year or two, so I uh, just went to pull the bowl off the carburetor and those screws do not want to turn. So I'm pulling the whole manifold off. Do it that way. Pull the manifold off and I'll just disconnect everything and <laughs> might take the arm right off the governor and see if we can get another 2,000 RPMs out of it. 2020, maybe I'll break a leg this year. No. Still smoking a little bit again. Nah, you're gonna start a minute, right? Yes. 
say, I don't know if we can even lift our hand that one. If we do, we'll give away a t-shirt. We'll get all there. Well, that's off. I'm just gonna figure out well, how much of this crap I can take out of here. Good thing I'm an off duty ninja. Good thing. Look at that gas, it's crystal clear. Yeah. I'm gonna cut that off. Now you check your valve guys. That's wrong. Awesome girlfriend right here. Filming and rubbing my back. Oh, yeah. Filming and rubbing my back. Right, this, this is probably the leak because I've definitely messed that gasket up. But you have to run a little better and I'll regasket it when I get home. Mike playing his video. Man. It is Sunday morning, um, day after I drove down. You guys just watched, if you're still with me, you just watched uh, me putting the motor in, or me unloading the tractor, me putting the motor in, me and Mike, uh, taking for a quick little ride, doing a little tuning, swapping the carburetor and intake. Um, I just, I want to take another minute and just say a wicked, wicked big thank you to Lucky7, Mike, um, you're an awesome friend. You're a damn good dude. He gave me the engine. Told me, keep it or give it back when I get my motor on. Not only that. Spare carb and intake. Mike, you're awesome. And guys, honestly, Mike's one of the nicest guys I've met. And he's, I, I really do consider him a brother. Good dude. Um, but anyway, we're down here at his shop again. And, but I just, I stayed at his house last night. I took my truck home, but I left my trailer in his garage. Um, so we just come back. We're going to fire the machines up, take them for a quick ride, clean up the shop, and then uh, I'm going to head it back to Maine.
Those guys can tune up. Yep. Batteries. Go. You gotta have the truck all the way off. And I need batteries, bad. Just give me